Lead the Way, a podcast for school leaders with author, speaker, and educator, Dr. Bill Ziegler. Welcome to Lead the Way, a podcast for ed leaders by ed leaders in five minutes or less. Today, I'm with Dr. Marcus Bielan, principal of Huntley High School in Huntley, Illinois. Dr. Bielan is also the president-elect of the Illinois Principal Association. Dr. Bielan, it's so great to have you on the program today. Hey, thanks for having me, Bill. Appreciate it. Awesome. Dr. Bielan, we hear so many lies and wrong statements that our people are saying about race that only hurt our students and our community. And I think educators, we need to begin to erase these from our vocabulary. And the first one is, I don't see color, I'm colorblind. Why do you think that's a lie that we need to get rid of? Well, first, I mean, when you look at the demographics of students that you have, like everybody has a story to tell, right? And everybody's color that they represent and ethnicity and and gender and all of that uh, really have a special piece of an ingredient that makes up who they are as a student in your building. So when you say that you don't see color, that's a missing ingredient of that person's story or that student's traditions or history or culture uh, that you're missing. Yeah, that, that's so true. And I think what happens actually, when we say we don't see color, it's like we're ignoring the foundational purpose of who a student is. And it just, it hurts the student, it hurts learning, and it just inhibits growth and progress. What are your thoughts on that? That is very true, Bill. You know, when, when kids go into school, they want to be seen as individuals, but they want to be able to find their self a place within the school culture. And, and when we ignore uh, the very true fact of what we see them, Uh, and the color that they are, we fail to input them into what our school culture should be and is a diverse community. I totally agree. Let's look at the next one. You know, you'll hear educators say, I'm white. I can't speak out about race. Nobody wants to hear from a white person. What do you think about that, Marcus? Uh, well, that's that's the first thing where I want people to to accept who they are and the knowledge that they have and understand that in some areas, they're going to have limited knowledge. Uh, but to be able to speak and give a perspective from their lens um, is also helpful too in trying to understand uh, someone else and and their worldview uh, when it comes to race. You know, I think the other thing that we need to stop saying as as educators is I'm not racist. You'll just hear people say that almost as a defense to their character. They'll say I'm not racist. That's not enough any longer. What should educators be saying and believing and have that at the core of who they are? I think the recognition of the fact that everyone has a bias, a bias about something, Uh, even myself, I recognize some of the biases that I have uh, and trying to to understand how to work through them to be able to operate in a world where I need to be accepting of a lot of a lot of things. And I need to stretch myself even further. I have to recognize what those biases are in myself and figure out what do I need to do to uh, to move past them. Yeah, that's so important. I agree with you. And, and I almost think that if if we're, you know, not being a racist is enough. We need to be anti-racist because I think anti-racist stands up against stuff and speaks out against, you know, things that are wrong and, and racism rather than just sitting quietly and being passive. Anti-racist is taking action to actually stop it and prevent it. What are your thoughts on that? You know, the, the key word there is, is anti uh, and anti being against. And when you recognize that something isn't right or something uh, either was said wrong or done wrong or an action taken by something, and you can recognize that you can open up your mouth and just speak about it and just say, hey, that was wrong. That to me is very strong. And you don't have to be a particular color or race or religion or creed to be able to do that. You can do that from just your internal being of what your thoughts are Um, as to why that situation took place or why it was wrong. You know, Marcus, the last thing I'll hear people say is when you hear Black Lives Matter, somebody will will respond by saying, well, all lives matter. And and I love what I read recently where it said, all lives doesn't matter if Black lives don't matter. And, you know, why do do educators need to stop saying all lives matter? You know, I think when we look at the situations that we're currently in, like there has been just an attack on the Black community in terms of how we look at race and 
some of the the hamster wheel issues, if you call it, it's the hamster wheel. We constantly keep repeating history over and over. Uh, and in order for us to get off of that, we have to recognize a lot of the uh, the injustices that have been plaguing the black community for years. Marcus, I can't thank you enough for being on the program today and sharing your wisdom uh, about this most important topic. Thanks for being on Lead the Way today. Thank you, Bill, for having me. Absolutely. You've been listening to Dr. Bill Ziegler with Lead the Way. Bill has great resources for school leaders at chaselearning.org. That's chaselearning.org. Thanks for listening to Lead the Way with Dr. Bill Ziegler.